So let's have a look what we can do if we want to do filter design with um, SciPy. So FIR filter design with with SciPy. And there we look at the command FIR win. So that, that command is um, using internally internally the band pass band pass impulse response. and um, synthesizes then out of this um, low pass, high pass, band stop and um, band pass. So we can think of this like the um, low pass, for example, if we if we have a response like this. So if this is here, H of F, so it's a, as a low pass response, then we can still think of this as a as a band pass response with two band edges, and um, and the same the same idea is also for a high pass or even for a band stop. When we think of the of the band stop as another example here, so something like something like that, and this here goes to normalized frequency here. Then we have here there's one band pass, and then there's a then there's another another one here, and so so we're getting the idea of this here. So there's a band pass, and there's another band pass here. And so we're getting the idea um, that this can be synthesized by that. So let's start. Let's start with the um, with a low pass filter. Low pass is the is the one which is probably used most. So that's. Um, That's the syntax of this. No, no more parameters. So, and that's the that's a number of tabs, and that's here the normalized frequency. Just note the note the um, factor two here, because the whole term that's normalized to Nyquist. And a bit later, I will show why why this probably came about. So let's um, normalize to Nyquist. So with that, we are generating a low-pass filter. So that's pretty, pretty easy. Um, so now let's have a look in Spider how the how the, how the low-pass looks like. So here I've got the frequency f1 is 50 hertz here, one kilohertz sampling rate. Let's just see if this works. Yeah. So we so we see here that's the FIR win command creates a nice spectrum here with some um, 50 hertz cutoff with um, one um, and with 1000 taps okay so that so that works so let's just um, move on to to the next one so let's do as the next next one here um, band pass band pass filter the one which is actually internally used. Yeah, so, so if we if we have a band pass response, which goes like this: f1, f2, 
then um, the then the then the command for for this is f i r win. I should write this like this. B equals f i r win. And then here f one multiplied by two. F two multiplied by two. And then pass zero equals equals false. So again, that's a number number of tabs. And then here we've got the got the F one and that's the that's the F two. And now we've got here curious um parameter here which is um pass zero equals false. And this means that we have um H of H of zero equals equals zero so that so that at the starting point here so there's no no pass pass through at um at um zero frequency here so so zero refers to to zero frequency zero hertz and so so that we have that we have a zero here so that this stays zero here and then this is um defined by this by this command here and um so let's see let's see if this works so if we change that that here to to f2 multiplied two that we have two bands and then our magic um parameter here which is if it's not if you don't know exactly what it means it's quite quite confusing and so here we've got here this um band pass response now at this point at this point we can we can look a bit um under the hood so f i r win command under the hood to understand what is um, going on inside and so I have um, done this already a bit of prep work here so so this this is here our function FIR win, which I've checked out from GitHub, and um, we have it here with all the parameters and the explanations. But the um, interesting, the interesting fragment of um, of the whole filter design part here is um, essentially in this area here. That's all what our filter design does. So that's that's only roughly 15 lines of um, Python code, and this generates us um, our our filter response which is pretty impressive and um and it's pretty easy to see to see what's happening happening inside and so inside we um as i said already already it's um using the analytical solution of the of the band pass using the analytical solution of the band pass so what what was that again analytical solution h of n and then 1 over pi n and then that's sine of omega 2 n and that's minus sine of omega 1 n and so now what um, what Python internally does is here it's not directly using this function here um, and um, it's using instead of here a sync function 
And so what is the again again a sync a sync function? So a sync x is um, sync of of pi x divided by pi x. So that's our our sync function. And so now remember that that this um, omega two here, that is um, two pi f two here, and that is two pi two pi f one here. And so so and therefore so therefore with that we can substitute that and um, and write h of n equals to two two f two, and then uh, multiplied by sink sink of 2f2n and then we just subtracting from from this here 2f1 sink of 2f f1n and so and so that's that's basically what um, essentially what we have what we have in the um, in the code here um, but now we um, we see here so this um, left and left and right is um, generate these are these are, are the frequencies here which are um, generated further up here and we don't see this factor factor two here and so and so therefore what is um, FIR win is using so that's um, FIR win that is using f2 sync of f2n minus f1 sync to f1 because it just it just a factor two looks a bit ugly but um, now obviously we have a different definition of um, of of f2 here and um, and I'll make a make a tittle tittle over this over this here and so what's the so what's the difference between between this f2 and um, and that of f2? So that one is that one is here, or that's a normalized frequency here. And um, and also that one here. So then the f2 here and f1, they are um, normalized to Nyquist. So they are they are allowed to run from from zero to one and not just from from zero to 0 0.5 so that was a bit was a bit squeezed here so fir win is using essentially f2 tittle sync of f2 tittle n and then minus f1 tittle sync of F1n. Obviously, it looks nicer because there's no factor two in it, but um, that one here runs runs from zero to to one, and um, and so that's that's normalized normalized to Nyquist. So and so and therefore, if we our our F2 Tittle is then simply two times f2 with our normal normal normalized frequencies here and, and f1 f1 uh, here so so that one here runs runs from 0 to 0 0.5 and that one here from from 0 to 1 and so okay let's um continue just um, finish up with the with the remaining filter responses here so let's so let's do a um, high pass filter high pass filter and so that's h equals fir win multiplied by two and then 
pass zero equals equals false. So this means again for so for the high pass filter we have here the frequency f1 and then this here goes goes up to 0 0.5 in our normalized frequencies here. And um, again, so that's our that's our band pass here. Let's see, let's see if this works. So let's just go back down here to to our argument here. So let's get rid of the second frequency here again. Let's just set this to f to f1. And um, and so the zero false is already in there. So and therefore this this should us should should give us a high pass filter. So it's true. So so with that we have managed a high pass filter. So now um, here I've um, added a couple of debug outputs here just to just to make it more interesting here. So the bands running from 0.1 to 1. So this means that's that's a band pass filter which is internally generated by this filter here. So when we when I go and go her higher up here, so I just print out print out the frequency bands here, and we see so it runs runs from 0.1 to 1. Um, so one is here. Um, this is running up to Nyquist frequency. Okay, so now the the final one. So band stop. That also gives an interesting output from the um, internal workings of this command. So now again we um, have two frequencies here. F1 multiplied by 2, comma F2 multiplied by 2, and then um, pass zero equals false. And so so let's um let's try try this out here. Ah yeah before before I try this out remember how a barn stop is generated here F H of F. So a barn stop is, is um essentially the superposition so let's here f1 f2 superposition of um, two two band pass filters so it's band pass one and that's band pass band pass two here and um, so from the internal outputs here we should see um, essentially two filter two band pass filter responses with that okay so let's add this here again so we've got f f1 and and F2 and pass zero is now is now true. And I just realize that I that I done this here wrong. This must be of course true because we are we are up here. And so here we've got our, our band stop filter. Now there's a there's the interesting aspect here that when we're looking here at the at the bands, that we have one band here which is going which is the first band and then then the second band here. Remember what I've um, shown here at this um, in this drawing here. So that we have here, here, here the first, the first band. So that band, which is this one here, running from zero to 0 0.1, and then the second band here, running from 0 0.3 to one. So we, so we see it's a superposition um, of these, of these two, two band pass responses here. And so, so with that, we can easily 
synthesize even more of band pass responses here in the array allows allows even more so we can more or less synthesize all different kinds of um, shapes with that so the only slightly slightly confusing parameter here and um, I've, I've confused myself here with with that here so we need to be careful if we if we're starting at a zero or a one and then this is here this is here an, a requirement and i i recommend adding this this parameter all the time because the um, implicit values or default value of this changes depending if there's one or two parameters in here